Welcome to Gregos TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic July 4th. Today is America's Independence Day, 1776. July 4th, we became independent from England. And we are now, what is it, 18, 19, 200 and almost 50 years later or something like that. Uh, maybe a little more, a little less. Anyway, we're in somewhere in that, that realm of, of uh, life right there. So happy Independence Day to all that are celebrating. We've got a great day of tech. It's going to be short, but it's great. And it's all about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the dust and water resistance that it will have, the brightness of the display, and all of that. So first of all, let's talk about that. So first of all, I can't show you images, but I can definitely tell you what it has. So first of all, it will have a titanium frame. We've heard about that. 7.6 inch display, 6.3 on the inch display on the outside. But let's talk about the nits and the water resistance. I have to grab my phone because the water and dust resistance is actually kind of weird, but supposedly based off of what they have here, you can see from this headline, the massive leak confirms dust resistance for the Z Fold 6 and Flip 6. Now, what it says there is it, that it's going to be IP48. You're probably used to IP68 or 67. Those are dust and water resistance. IP48, this is exactly from uh, Samsung's leaked uh, image, says, based on laboratory test conditions for immersion, which means underwater, and up to 1.5 meters of fresh water, for up to 30 minutes and for protection against a solid object larger than one mm such as a wire not intended for use at the beach or in a pool the water resistance of the device is not permanent and may decrease over time with normal wear and tear not dust or sand resistance so there's a bit of confusion going on because you've got leakers and websites saying that it has dust resistance but then if you read this the last line this may decrease over time normally is not dust or sand resistant so to me it doesn't sound like it's dust resistant but there's a lot of people online that saying it is and then when i look at ip 48 directly from a, a website that talks about all kinds of ip certifications it just says protected from tools and small wires greater than one millimeter protected from long-term immersion up to a specified pressure. So to me, that doesn't sound like dust resistance. I know that's kind of going out there, but I, I don't know the way I read it, it's not, and I could be wrong, but from this, it doesn't sound like it's dust resistant. You know, I read you that, that little sentence in the beginning of this, and that's directly from Samsung. So it doesn't sound like it's sand or dust resistance, but it has this, I guess, ability to be protected against wires, which is kind of weird. Now, the other bit of news is good news as well. And this one is probably what I'm more excited about because I don't really bring my Galaxy Z Fold to the beach. And if I do, I definitely keep it out of the sand. I don't need dust resistance. It's not that dusty here in San Diego. I mean, it is dry, but it's not crazy dusty. And that is, has or has to do with the brightness. It is going to be 2,600 nits of brightness on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. That matches the S24 Ultra, which kind of surprises me, and destroys the Z Fold 5, which is 1750 nits. So we're getting almost a thousand nits more. It's gonna be better outdoors, um, which is already pretty good outdoors, but it's gonna be even better. And remember, it's gonna be a lot thinner too, like way thinner than any of the other previous generations of the Galaxy Z Fold line to the point where it's really, really impressive stuff. So it's gonna be 7.6 millimeters on the original one, and now they're already down two whole millimeters to 5.6 and 12.1. And you can see just the size differences <clears throat> throughout the years. It's gotten thinner and thinner, and now it's really thin, and they're lightest as well, 239 grams so some nice things going on about this the ip48 kind of confusing because a lot of people saying it's dust and water resistance and even sam mobile said the same thing so i'm kind of confused doesn't sound like it and then it's samsung's official verbiage they're saying it's not dust resistant i've got to i've got to go with samsung they have it written that it's not dust resistant and then other websites talking about ip48 say nothing about dust resistance so definitely water resistant though and then also with to the fact that 
the brightness has gone up a whole hell of a lot, which is amazing. I am super stoked. One of the best upgrades for me personally is get older. You want your screen brighter, especially outdoors. This is awesome for me. So really looking forward to that. If you want to take advantage of the pre pre-order reservation, it is linked down below. Take advantage of it. You'll get $50 in Samsung credit if you buy the phone, plus up to $1,500 in savings and entered into a $5,000 Samsung sweepstakes with Samsung. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Let me know your thoughts on this and we'll see you down the road. Peace.